Hi there parents, welcome back to another math hour. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to identify an equation. Um, if How to know if an equation has an infinite solution. In my previous video we learned about no solutions. Today I'm going to show you an equation which has infinite solutions. And the definition of an infinite solution means that the equation can be substituted with any number and you'll still end up with the same answers. Let me show you a quick little example right now. Let's try an example over here. Use this blue color here. Let's see. Let's do 2x plus 3 is equal to 2x plus 3. Okay? And let's solve for x. So let's see. This is my left side. This is my right side. I'm going to use a jump technique. So 2x is on the left, which is good. 2x is on the right. I'm going to jump. The positive turns into minus, so we get minus 2x. Everything else stays on the right. Positive 3 is good. This positive 3 is on the left side, so it jumps across to the right and becomes minus 3. And then you 2x minus 2x is 0 equals 3 minus 3, 0. And this is an example of an infinite solution because 0 equals 0. So we write infinite solution. Okay? And there's a special symbol we use also. We use the infinity symbol to represent infinite solution. So what this basically means is that I can replace x with any number and it'll still come out with the same thing. If x equals 1, for example, if x was 1, and uh, I put the other side also x is 1, well, guess what? If I solve this out, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 is 5. I'm going to get the same answers. You see that? This means an infinite solution. No matter what number I replace x with, I will end up with the same answers. This is an example of an infinite solution. Let me show you another example now. Let me read all this stuff right here. Okay. Let's try something with a distributive property. Uh, let's see. I've got a question right here. Yes, I do. We got minus 4 multiplied by v plus 3, close parentheses, equals minus 12 minus 4v. Um, let's solve this. Let's solve for v. So I'm going to use distributive property. I'm going to multiply it all out. So it'll be minus 4v and minus 4 times 3 is minus 12 is equal to minus 12 minus 4v. Okay. Same thing. I'm going to do the jump, jump technique left and right. Uh, let's see, my v has to be on the left side, so minus 4v is good, but this minus 4v is on the right side. Let's jump across that equal sign, and it turns into positive 4v. And of course, everything else stays on the right, so minus 12 is good, but this minus 12 is on the left side, so let's jump across the equal sign, and it becomes positive 12. And then minus 4v plus 4v is 0. And minus 12 plus 12 is 0. And there we go. We have an infinite solution. 0 equals 0. In other words, I can replace v with any number, and it'll still come out with the same answer. Okay? Easy example right here. Uh, let me show you one more example of an infinite solution uh, algebra problem. Let's try, oh, how about this one? 3 plus 5n is equal to... 5 multiplied by n plus 2, parentheses close, minus 7. Okay, so let's use the survey property. Let's solve this out. 3 plus 5n stays the same. No change. 5 times n is 5n. 5 times 2 is positive 10, minus 7. Okay, so far so good. Let's continue on. Let's keep solving it. 3 plus 5n stays the same. 5n stays the same. And we know that 10 minus 7 is, of course, positive um, 3. Okay. Um, let's solve for n now. Uh, let's do the left and right side. Use the jump technique again. Left side, the n has to stay on the left, so 5n is good. But this 5n is on the right, so it jumps across the equal sign and becomes minus 5n. Everything else stays on the right side, so positive 3 is good. This positive 3 is on the left. Let's jump across to the right side. It becomes minus 3. 5n, five 5n, five 0. 3 minus 3 is 0. Infinite solution, IS. Or you can put the sign. 
And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is how you basically prove if an equation has an infinite solution. Okay? Thanks so much.